we were about to put together the coffee table and Ryan didn't believe that this was my toolbox until I got this out. Tiny drill. <laughs> Today it is Friday. This morning I just spent uh, the morning basically trying to move my bum, get moving, do some yoga. I did more than a bit of yoga. I was like, did some yoga with Adrian and then it was just too, what's the word? Like too gentle for me and for what I'm used to. And yeah, I just ended up doing like loads more, more like Pilates style exercises after that on my mat, just kind of like freestyling, trying to get myself moving as much as possible. So I'm gonna try and do that every day at the moment. And just, even if I'm not able to like walk two or so miles a day, which is what I normally kind of do on average, at least I'm doing something for my core and I can kind of keep everything toned. I don't know, I'm very, very concerned about not leaving the house at the moment. The lack of exercise is definitely an issue. But anyway, apart from that, today I'm having kind of like a little like nesty afternoon got a few things to unbox so we've had a zara home order come in in two parts so one part was a coffee table ryan and i have just been putting that together and then i've got a few other little bits as well which i'm going to show you now and then a couple of other bits have arrived so i thought i'd just take you through and do basically a zara home haul and then other bits for my home haul so i'm going to do a bit clean tonight as well whilst i fake tan and just kind of really try and get back into some kind of routine it's been hard lately because i have been out of routine because i was like going away back and forth to london so much over the past like two months and then i was away and now obviously i'm back but it's not my normal routine so i'm just going to try and kind of get back to feeling a bit more myself and i'm very excited because i'm going to change my bedding today because well fingers crossed i'm hoping it's like it's right but um a brand called dusk have sent me some amazing bedding so i'm going to show you that along with my home haul and yeah it's gonna be great oh i also filmed tiktoks this morning so you know where to go if you want to see those so this is the coffee table basically it's meant to be black it's not black that is not black it's basically a gray uh that's what it's meant to look like how funny it doesn't look like that but anyway i think it's gonna look really nice when i move it looks better on camera i'm happier now and then i've got some bits here to show you we also have had some changes to the living room hi hi what is this this is temporary isolation studio <laughs> And uh, I love the addition of the toilet roll next to you. What's that about? Do you want to feel like standing up, makeshift? Oh, uh, okay. I like it. I like it. Well done. Okay, so I have quite a bit of stuff to show you. Uh, where should I start? I'll do a continuation of the Zara home haul because we started with the coffee table. So basically, a little while back, I just picked up a few bits that I've been meaning to grab for a while. I feel like I've mentioned some of the bits in here in a previous video because i went into store to get them and they weren't there but fortunately they had them online so these first items are amazing considering meeting at home a whole lot more so if you have watched the vlogs before you will know that weirdly i have favorite cutlery um i'm very particular about my cutlery i keep my cutlery drawer very neat and tidy i love my matte black cutlery which is from ikea and then i also have this kind of like I call it petrol effect, but I'm not sure. Like duochrome oil effect knives and forks, which I got from Home Sense ages ago, and I hadn't been able to find any others like it until I spotted these in Zara Home. And they're basically the same, but with more pinky colours. I'm really hoping they hold up well, like being washed and stuff, because my Home Sense ones have held up okay. The yellow is the colour that sticks around the most, but there's not so much yellow on these. So I'm hoping that these last well we shall see but i really love the fact that they've got more like turquoise and pink on them than my other ones which are a more yellow base oil effect they're just so gorgeous so really happy i finally picked those up i've been umming and ahhing it over it for weeks and i don't really know why to be honest and then i also picked up a little home spray so for those of you who haven't seen my story zara home have started doing a couple of scents that are very very similar to diptyque scents so they have a fig one and like a black currenty one so you basically have a dupe for diptyque figure <laughs> something like that and diptyque bays and uh this is the fig kind of based one that's a bit of a dupe for that and uh Mm. Oh, 
that smells so good so yeah this is gonna be so nice i think it's just a really nice fresh springy scent it's cute on the new coffee table too so are you mad we then have a purchase that i made on netaporter which makes it sound really bougie but and it is but it's not as bougie as you think uh considering it's a home item is there anything better than netaporter packaging no there isn't normally i would do you know you can have it without gift wrap however at the moment boxes are very very useful for me for a multitude of things and i really like their boxes and i'm keeping the ribbons uh for a project a DIY project so yeah I opted in for the gift packaging on this occasion um but you can take it off if it's something that you just don't really feel the need to have sorry my battery died but yeah I made a little nest porter purchase for something home related which was very unnecessary in terms of buying it from nest porter but it's literally the only place I could get my hands on this stuff and I actually wanted to buy this for my mum for mother's day so in addition to buying it for her i also was like actually i need a restock so i also bought it for myself it was also kind of a jokey mother's day present because i've obviously had to cancel my lunch that i booked for mother's day for my mum which i know in the grand scheme of things is very trivial and very tertiary and we will obviously just do it again at another time but she was very sad about it and i felt really bad so i wanted to buy her a present that was kind of like it had a light-hearted lol in the card but it is also something that i knew she would very much like and also need at the moment so we have two of the Aesop Resurrection Aromatic Hand Washes and then I also picked up the accompanying hand balm because my hands are so dry at the moment, so ridiculously dry and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to have the set. Basically I got the two hand washes because I also have a set in my kitchen. I normally have the Reverence hand wash but I just can't get my hands on that anywhere at the moment. It's got a scrub in it and it is incredible. So I got two of the Resurrection hand washes and then a hand balm. So I'm fully stocked in my home in terms of hand wash again which is great because uh, the three of us, so me, Brian and Lauren, are always in my flat and over the past uh i would say like a couple of months we've just been washing our hands like crazy like we normally wash our hands a lot anyway um like, i'm constantly touching like makeup and touching my face for my job so i wash my hands like a mad woman as it is and it's just been on another level lately so my hand wash has just literally disappeared so yeah that was my really unnecessary bougie net support purchase um and my mum now also has the same as well <laughs> normally i tend to do her like a white company set but this year i wanted to go Aesop just because i've been really really loving these hand washes well i've always love them but just been loving them so much more recently i think it's because i have more visitors around now and they're always like oh my god this hand wash is amazing and i don't know about you but like it's always nice when people come into your home and they compliment something and it makes you never want to be without it so that and my diffusers which are like the first thing that everyone comments on um, i take a lot of pride in those and i literally can't not have them it's the silly little things i know but i just love them they make everything just feel so special and in a time when this flat is really just like driving me up the wall honestly i could go into my list of like issues with living here but i won't because on the grand scheme it doesn't really matter but um it is very difficult to be spending a lot more time here at the moment and then just be surrounded by all of the things that are going on within this property yeah it's a lot so i've just basically been trying to nest to kind of just like make myself a bit more comfortable here so like over the past month i've obviously just made a lot of orders so in addition to these bits i also got sent some bits from dusk which are gifted but i'm so so happy because i love their brand so they do lots of bedding like they're basically like a homeware brand and i love their stuff i follow them on instagram and i'm always like liking everything that they do i am obsessed with their website their photography and imagery is so beautiful and yeah they offered to send me some bits and i honestly was over the moon so i'm very excited to open this up firstly we have the manhattan bedspread which is so gorgeous I love the colour of this, it's like a dusky kind of grey. Hopefully it's going to kind of be nice and in keeping with my bed that I already have, like the bed head. And it will look really, really lovely with white bedding. I love a bedspread like these as well because they're really great for when you're hungover and want to lie on the sofa but you don't want to take your whole duvet. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I want, I want to know how it feels. Let's open it. It's so nice. Oh my god, that's such a gorgeous colour. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna have to do my bedding now today for you guys so that you can all see because i also want to see and then we also have the mayfair bedding which is a really lovely very simple duvet cover so that i got a double because i just have a very small bed it always surprises people somehow me and ryan get by in a double bed uh even though he's six foot two so i don't even know how we're coping right now to be honest but i think at some point in the future i probably will get a bigger bed but i just really love my bed right now so i'm kind of waiting for my taste to change because otherwise i'm just going to end up ordering the same bed in like a king size and i just don't know if i want to do that i don't know if it makes sense have you guys done that i'd love to know which methodology is right in this situation like am i doing the right thing or should i just 
order the same bed but in a bigger size and then we also have some i think these are the 65 by 65 cushion covers yes i have huge uh, cushions on my bed already um which i think i got last summer in the sale and they were like eight pounds each and it was incredible so i've just got the covers to match the manhattan bedspread in the same and that's so cute so yeah two of those and then they also sent me the pillow as well which is mad i wasn't expecting that these actually feel incredible i'm gonna have to do a pillow test and decide which pillows are better i don't know that's such a tough one so this is the new bedding and it needs a wash and a steam but i wanted to show you anyway i really like these two pillows at the back they look really really pretty annoyingly i got the bedding so it's like this like it's actually a very silky material and i thought it was just going to be like a regular cotton that was kind of like a matte feel and i thought i had pillows that went with it um i think i actually gave them away when i moved last they're probably at my mom's uh, as with everything else and uh, so i've just kind of put some plain white pillows on there which aren't perfect to be honest so i think i'll order the matching pillows for these because this is really gorgeous like you can't really tell but it's just really shiny and silky i like it and throw and the cushions just look really lovely together i really can't wait to be in a new space and for this to be all really lovely my bedroom since i've moved here has kind of been a bit of a uh, place that i don't really love so yeah i'm excited to fall in love with it again when i move so i think i'm gonna go and take my makeup off and i've got hair on my face oh i'm gonna go take my makeup off and get into bed uh just literally sit in my bed because I just am having a bit of a day. The dishwasher's leaking and it's just, you know, the, when you just, there's stuff going on and you're just like, I do not need this right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go clean some bubbles off my floor. It's literally like a cartoon where like a, an appliance is like spewing bubbles. So I'm gonna go just sort that, see when the delivery, delivery man? Repair man is coming and FaceTime my friends and just maybe have a rosé because I'm just, <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> is it 2021 yet because i've had enough so yeah i will be back with you maybe tomorrow if i'm feeling better maybe sunday i don't know i'll be back with you you'll you'll see it'll be like two seconds <laughs> bye Maybe I was just in a really bad place mentally yesterday. <laughs> I think it's just a shock of it, like not, not being, being what it said it would be. Yeah, definitely. When something doesn't look like in the photos, you're gonna be a bit peeved. But yeah, it's actually really nice. And Carla was really nice and offered to spray paint the legs for me because she's a pro at that now. Yeah. Yeah, she did her sofa legs the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Carla, if you're watching. So yeah, we're friends now. All good. Good morning, everybody. So today it is Saturday. I've just been trying a new top on. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Not sure. We'll see. I'll link it in the info box if any of you uh, want to check it out. It's basically I've waited for it to come back in stock for bloody ages, and uh, now I'm just not sure. And I'm that's a bit annoying, really, isn't it? But yeah, I've just been unboxing some posts. I got a new pop socket. Well, I've never really had a pop socket before, but I got this one. Uh, I saw Jess from Sunbeams. Jess had like a quartz pop socket and I was like, that's so cool. Um, I would really like one like that. And I thought it'd look quite cool with the marble on my phone. And then I saw these like crystal ones, which are ginormous and very impractical and very bougie. And I really like them. So they kind of like pop out. I don't know if I can do this one handed, but I'm always dropping my phone on my face in bed. So um, I thought one of these would be really handy and it's so, so pretty. Yeah, I really like it. The only annoying thing is I couldn't put it right in the center of my phone because I've got the SB and I don't want to cover it. So it's in a slightly weird position. It would have looked so much better. Here. but i might get another one and get a different phone case and put it a bit higher so yeah that was one of my deliveries this morning and then i also got a little space and k parcel very sad that they have had to close their stores at the moment I've got a little lms parcel from them they've sent this little note it's really really sweet i feel so sad for them that they've had to close their stores like all of their employees have just been really like emotional over it and it makes me so sad it's so lovely that they love their jobs so much so i thought i would show you what they've sent they've got the lms pro collagen cleansing balm the lms pro collagen marine cream with SPS 30 and the Pro Collagen Hydra Gel Eye Masks. I really like these. I'm excited to try everything out. Thank you very much to Space Co for that. I'm gonna just potter around the house now and do some cleaning bits. I'm gonna tan because my tan from Grand Canaria is fading. Yeah, and just kind of potter around the house and make everything really nice and homely. Also, I wanted to show you, I've got my hand wash and hand balm on the side of my kitchen and they look so cute. 
like having two here. I originally thought I'd put the hand balm in the bathroom, but I actually thought it would probably be better off out here. But yeah, very happy with that. And I'm excited to clean this kitchen this afternoon. resistance bands have arrived today which means I can get some decent at home workouts done I think well this is like step one we'll see how we go I like these ones though because they were pretty colors add that to my little fitness station I've got going on here really high tech as you can see Monday. Bit of a rough week. Ooh, I'm really overexposed. Wow. There we go. Bit of a rough weekend. I'm not going to lie. That's why there wasn't that much chat going on. A very, very emotional weekend and obviously things are quite scary right now and uh, I feel like we're all having a bit of an emotional wobble and that's okay. So yeah, back to work today. I've just filmed a Zara haul and try on which I was very nervous about uploading. If you watch the video, you'll understand but yeah at the moment just trying to kind of like keep normal keep going i'm gonna call lauren in a little bit and just have a little catch up with her really excited for that i'm gonna talk to my managers as well and have a little call with them and i'm really excited for that just to talk to people me and ryan have just been like cooped up here for so long now so it's getting a lot but yeah we baked brownies yesterday which were so yummy so i'll link the recipe in the info box but it's rosie london's recipe i'm not taking any credit for this at all though i did add the addition of marshmallows to the base and uh, i'm just saying that it was an excellent addition if any of you want to try it we also had a little date night on the balcony which was very cute my idea loved it it was very cold so we had like a full like duvet all the cushions from the sofa all of that kind of stuff it was really cute it was really fun and uh what else have i been up to i've been watching the walking dead my netflix got hacked saturday so i, I had the worst anxiety all weekend i hate anything being hacked I, none of us like it but it's a thing at the moment so do for whatever email your netflix alerts go to please turn your alerts on for that email because i don't have mine on for the email address that i was using and i didn't realize that someone had like logged in from a different location they changed the email address very very sad so now i'm without netflix because i don't want to pay for it twice this month and i'm just really really missing my gilmore girls and my friends and i'm missing my real life friends but the friends i'm talking about is uh the friends like the tv show i really wanted to watch it i literally sat down with my dinner to watch it and clicked the button on the tv and it was like mm -mm. And I was like, what is going on? And it took me half an hour and then I realised someone had hacked my Netflix. And I know that's happened to so many of you as well. I mentioned it on Instagram and you guys were like, just obviously being like, yep, same here, hun. What a time to lose your Netflix account. Ugh. So yeah, I was very stressed over that and it just kind of triggered and I was just like, I didn't sleep at all saturday night and yeah that is the story of how i lost my shit over the weekend but we're back to normal today we are back i am about to make some lunch still need to decide what i'm gonna make i'm really trying to like be very mindful when i'm eating at the moment and think about like what my body needs because i'm obviously not in my normal like exercise routine and stuff like that so just trying to eat very mindfully but also like not be wasteful of anything so eating as a whole ordeal at the moment usually i'd eat like it would take me five minutes to cook and then i'd eat but now i feel like there's a lot more thought going into it which is definitely interesting for me it's a new way of life also i've very much been enjoying my new bedding i think i think there is a parcel for me downstairs and i think it is the pillows they just arrived separately so i actually need to go and get those because i'll be really really happy because it was the same postal address that it come from so that's why i'm assuming stuff is just turning up left right and center oh also the dress that i'm wearing today is from nasty gal i'm really making a point um i'm going to probably do a blog post on my tips from like staying sane when you're cooped up in the house but i'm really making a point at the moment of getting dressed in things that make me feel very like pretty and really really happy stuff i would normally wear on warm summer's days but obviously like i don't need to worry about the temperature outside right now so i can wear some of my absolute 
favorite pieces. Like, I'm really just gonna take advantage of this and wear all of my cute spring dresses that sometimes it would be like, today would be a gorgeous, it's a blue skies outside. Oh, stunning, of course, when we're all cooped up, stunning. But it's still very cold, so I would still be waiting on wearing this. But whilst I'm in isolation, I'm gonna be making the most of this and wearing some of the most gorgeous dresses I own. And I did just have three arrive from Nasty Girl. So um, the white one I was wearing yesterday is also from Nasty Girl, I'll link it in the info box. These are the brownies we baked. As you can see, we have been munching them. They're so good, so, so good. So half of it has a marshmallow base um, at the bottom and then the other half doesn't because one of us does not eat marshmallows, but one of us is obsessed with marshmallows. So that's me, if anyone was wondering. Also, I thought I'd take you through the coffee table uh, bits. Ryan is there if you're wondering what that is. That's Ryan's foot. But yeah, I thought I'd take you through the coffee table. So obviously coffee table is from Zara Home, but a lot of you I know will wanna know what is on the top of it. So I thought I'd talk you through it. It includes the addition of a key from my balcony door and a screw that's also fallen out of my balcony door. Just great, great. Apart from that, we have, um, so basically all of my little crystal coasters, which I get asked about all the time, are from anthropology you can get similar ones from home sense if you go in and just religiously look but it's obviously not guaranteed because it's home sense but um if you are looking for them at a slightly reduced price then i would definitely check that out and then everything else so this this and this these are all from zara home so this is a zara home candle this is a zara home sorted caramel diffuser which needs a bit of a dust literally dusted yesterday what the actual effing hell and then we also have this which obviously you will have seen in the hall so that's my room spray and then a little crystal which i think i got sent a very long time ago and i just i love rose quartz so i've just always kept it and i think it works really nicely on the coasters and then my glassware for anyone that's wondering is from sainsbury's home they do a load of like black plates and stuff like that and then black glasses as well and i'm just absolutely obsessed with them and this is my dress for anyone that wants to see it in full I really like it. I love the colour mix. Well, lilac and black. Is black a colour? I don't know. I'll let you decide. But I really, really like the print of it. It's really, really pretty. It's got a little waist belt as well. So it kind of cinches you in a little bit. And I've paired it with my fluffy ASOS slippers. So my new pillows have arrived. I've done an awful job of making them look good. If anyone has any tips on how to make pillows look good when you and your other half like completely different pillows, let me know. I've just got the window wide open because I needed some fresh air, if anyone's wondering what the noise is all about. So yeah, these pillowcases from Dusk were in fact in the post this morning. They just came separately for some reason. I'm so happy. They're so soft and obviously so perfectly matching with the bedding. We're obsessed with this bedding, like Ryan can't stop talking about how much he loves this new bedding. So that makes me very happy because uh, the old ones were like very, very kind of old and just a bit grim. It also means that because they sent me two lots, so I have four in total, I can kind of not use these ones so much because these are a little bit older and not so cute either. So yeah, I feel like I have proper like grown up bedding, she says when she has her corner of stuffed animals. But anyway, yeah, if anyone has any tips on how to make pillows look good, I'd love your advice. Maybe not slapping them is uh, gonna be a good idea to start with, but yeah. So happy. It's now that time of day where I'm about to FaceTime every single person I know because I'm bored and I've been hanging out my window filming a TikTok because I need sun. This is literally the only place in my flat where I get some sunshine. So I'll be here. It's quite nice really, but I haven't got sun cream on so I shouldn't be doing this. So um, yeah, that is my life right now. The balcony door. Honestly, I can't count the amount of things that are just breaking in the flat. Like as soon as I need to be here all the time, the balcony door now does not open. So this is my source of fresh air. Hello. I wanna be where the people are. But I can't because I need to stay inside and save lives. So I have to laugh about it. I have to laugh and joke about it. That's all I have. I'm Chandler. Funny is all I have. Except I'm not funny, but still. Yeah, it's that time of day where I am uh, about to tidy my flat and call everybody I know and see how they are. So I think I'll probably call it a day for this vlog now because I feel like it's probably gonna be a bit long, but even if not, I'll be back with you in a couple of days with a new video. I'd rather keep them like more frequent than like feature length films because YouTube doesn't push them out to you if they're feature length films, spoiler. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep them just like, not unbearably short, but I'll try and keep them a reasonable length so that you can have them more frequently. I can't speak, I'm getting to that point of the day where I'm a bit dead. I filmed quite a bit today, so 
yeah i'm gonna go do more talking to people so i obviously got this dress from nasty gal and my other dress from nasty gal i had a few other bits um arrive in that order with it and i also got sent some stuff like weeks and weeks ago i haven't done a ton of ordering um i swear but i got sent some stuff way before i went away basically at the end of february from and other stories so let me know if you would like to see like a try on of those or like a little spring lookbook kind of thing because i can definitely put that together for you if you would like to see that and yeah as always any other video requests you have i am here for it <laughs> i'm here for all of the videos for you guys so literally anything that you could ever want to know anything about please let me know ryan and i tried to film a q a i feel like some of you might have seen on stories we said we were going to we're not sure i think we might have to refilm i'm just not convinced it wasn't a good setup and we were both very 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 nervous um i don't know why yeah so we might refilm that but i don't know let me know if you would like to see that but yeah in the meantime i hope you enjoyed seeing what's new to my flat hey new bedding it looks so nice do let me know your thoughts on whether i should keep this bed get the exact same bed new or get a different bed new and then king size because that's the only thing i would be doing if i got a new bed because otherwise there's no point i feel like i color coordinate really well with this uh bed setup anyway i'm gonna go now i hope you are all happy safe at home stay safe be kind and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye